My name is Daryl Burkell. I am the president of McNeese State University. Well, I was asked uh, quite a few times early uh, in my uh, my life uh, to uh, officiate after I played football at McNeese, but I never uh, took it up. I had a, a young family, and so I dedicated my time to my uh, my wife and kids. And then when my kids became old enough, I had a friend who said, "Hey, uh, why don't you come referee?" And so I finally did. I finally. Uh, Started in uh, July of one year and started refereeing and have loved it ever since. Been doing it now for 11 years. Well, you know, I have gone to uh, many camps, uh, many uh, college camps. I, I, I took the time to go to some college camps and get some training from those guys, along with the training that we get at camps from the uh, LHSOA. And uh, just talking to other referees and uh, watching others on television tries to help you uh, hone your craft. And, uh, you know, it's a thing that you don't put down at the end of the season, that you continue to stay in the rule book, you continue to talk to other uh, referees uh, just about situations. And so uh, it helps you along the way to just stay in the game throughout the year. I'll tell you what, without mentors and uh, veteran officials to help you along the way, uh, you'd just be in the dark. These guys help you understand uh, the philosophy, the rules, uh, the understanding of uh, how you should uh, act on the field, your bearing on the field. and. Uh, they just, they just give you a lot of insight that you would not gain uh, by, just, uh, by just refereeing. Uh, they, they give you insight into uh, the uh, occupation. Probably one of the biggest things is team, the concept of team. When anytime you lead, you have to have a team around you and you have to build that team and you have to be able to uh, coach the team and also hold the team accountable. And so that we're always trying to work to get better. So whether that's in, in my business, in, in higher education, with my leadership team, uh, or with a, a referee and crew, you're constantly trying to get better. You wanna have the perfect game. You wanna make all the right calls. You wanna make all the right decisions. You wanna have all the right mechanics. And you just work every day to try to do uh, the very best you can and be perfect and uh, you, you just hold each other accountable. So I find that uh, to be one of the, uh, the biggest things that I find that carries over. I would tell them that uh, the decision to, to become a referee was probably one of the best decisions in my life that I've made. It's, it's been very rewarding. It's uh, been something that I have enjoyed. You, you know, and if you're competitive by nature, it allows you to continue to be competitive and you're competitive with yourself to uh, just becoming better every day. And uh, it, it's a great joy to be out there, to be a part of the game and to be on the other side of the game. So uh, I would tell anyone uh, that, that's looking at doing that, if, if uh, they have a desire to uh, give back and to be a part of something that is very rewarding, uh, this, is, this would do it. Thank <laughs> you.